Don't worry, it's soon set her packing. Don't let it ruin your night. We've been quiet all afternoon. No, I'm fine. Just oh. ignore her. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. Here, is anybody going to get naked here or what? Oh, Nick, don't disappoint us. Else I'll have your kicks off in a minute. You killing them! Oh, 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 yeah, can we get oh. it started, please? I don't know, you might make a nice old dev. It's all right, ladies, we promise you the show will be starting soon. Thought it had started already, has she no self-respect? Worse, she's no hope. Well, that's her problem. Don't let it get you down. No, oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm over Carl. I've got a gorgeous boyfriend. The pubs are open tomorrow. I couldn't be happier. I shouldn't have stuck booting. Well, it's like you said you were doing it for Deb. No, I wasn't. I was sat in a skull. Well, there's no wrong with that, isn't there? I'd already won the war. All I was doing was adding her kids to the casualty list. I'm going on. Stella, oh, no, no. not Stella. Leave it. Oh, this night just goes from bad to worse. Well, why don't you go home last night? You're not doing yourself any favours here. Whereas you can't do enough for me, can you? Is there a problem here? No, we're fine. Um, I just, um, I shouldn't have said what I said earlier, and, um, I should have thought about the impact on the kids, and I'm sorry. Sorry? Oh, well, that's going to more than compensate for my kids growing up without their father. You make me sick. You stand behind that bar, dishing out your pearls of wisdom. Saint Stella of Flaming Weatherfield. Truth is, you just like sticking your nose in. You're like Norris with bad roots. Now, hold on. No, you hold on. Try listening for a change. Might do you some good. Me and Dev could have been happy. We could have been a family again. But no, you couldn't leave us alone. Leave you alone? I was a good friend to you until you cheated on your fella with my bloke. How is that my fault? Because you couldn't keep Carl happy? Because oh. you're too busy living other people's lives. You listen to me. You're going to regret the day that you ever mess with me and my family. <laughs> All right, that's it. End of the night for you. Take your hands off me. Come on, get out. Don't come back. You're not welcome here anymore. Get out. Get out. Ladies, attention please, it's time to get a scene in underway. Woo! Now, by day, it drives a taxi, but tonight, it's going to drive you a lot wild. I give you Mr. Carl Barad! Talk about it. Sunita! Go <laughs> for easy, please, darling. Do you call that dancing? <laughs> he looks like he's trying to dry himself with an invisible town. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you should lend it to Stella when he's done with it. He's <laughs> in oh, very good condition for his age. <laughs> I think I'll stick with Weatherfield Wayfarer, <laughs> to be honest with you. As soon as somebody turn him off, to be honest. Oh, do you know what? I actually feel a bit sorry for him. He puts me in mind of that chauffeur from Thunderbirds, the one who drove the pink roller with Lady Penelope in it. <laughs> Parker, you mean? Oh, I think you're a better dancer, to be honest. Strings and all. Oh, I've had enough. I'm going home. Oh, you can't go. It's only just started. Oh, look at the start to me. Anyway, now the old water's back on, I think I'll have a salt in a nice hot bath. Don't you want to see Jason's turn? Well, uh, I'm not missing anything I've not seen before, Mum, will I? Woo-hoo! That show comes on to me in one piece. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, no,
What the hell are you doing? Well? We're back in half an hour.